Hello folks, today I'm going to give you a walk around of my 1959 John Deere 630 and 400 series ABG collivators. <clears throat> Bought this tractor about a year ago. It had a stuck cylinder. Um, got it home, got it all freed up, and this winter we overhauled it. Uh, bored it 45 over and uh, did some head work to it. So... <clears throat> this this early summer we thought I'd put the collivators on and collivate some corn it's definitely a, a work in progress it's got some mismatched tires hopefully we can take care of that to make it look better um, <clears throat> the tractor is all original paint I don't think that it's ever really seen much hard work. The tack on it only shows 1,798 hours. Um, when I overhauled it, I had to replace two gauges. So two of the gauges aren't original and I had to uh, rebuild the sediment bowl and all that stuff. Uh, it was leaking. I'm going to say this tractor hadn't sat outside much until it was at the tractor jockey that I uh, purchased it from. Uh, it's a local tractor. Um, I don't know much history about it, but I do know that it had come from a gentleman uh, not too far from us. Um, story about the ABG 400 series collivators are uh, they are 4 row, 36 inches. Um, they, I originally bought these with a 237 mounted corn picker and haven't really used them much. Uh, this year's the first time I've actually cultivated anything with it because I finally got a tractor with tight enough steering to do so. Um, these are considered a quick, quick attached cultivator. If you look at them, they have this A-frame up front with pins and a slide and they're only attached, held on by two bolts and two pins as you can see the acorn nuts down there and then the tapered bolts that are nuts that it slides on to uh, hopefully later in the video I can show you how how it attaches and maybe we can run down the field and make it turn some dirt uh, this cultivator is actually lifted by the rock shafts as you can see there's a rod that goes back and it's just controlled with your typical three-point lever um, and then I've also got it's not original to this cultivator it's off an, actually it's off a model 20 cultivator uh, these rear rakes that take your rear tire tracks out the ABG 400 or 200 series cultivators they attach a little differently with uh, chain style linkage here instead of the linkage there to the rock shaft and these also have quick attach as you can see There's three egg corn nuts you loosen those up and you can uh, basically pop these off in less than five minutes Just a couple quick pins there to do so and these have the spring tooth style rakes behind it So hopefully we can go up and uh, we can cultivate some corn. It's getting kind of tall, but hopefully we can show you how things work and uh, get, a good, uh, get a good perspective of what it was like to farm back in 1959. Alright, here we are up in the field getting ready to run some uh, run down four rows. You can see it's getting a little tall to be cultivating, but <clears throat> for the video purpose, I'm going to make a pass or two just to show you how things work. Uh, on your right hand side of the 630, there's this lever. Now this controls the three point, raises the cultivators up and down, it sets the rear rakes down as well. Uh, so we're going to start out slow, we're going to put it in second gear and see what we can do.
I hit the when it's hitting that beam going across, so I'm probably going to quit. But I've got a I've got a video that I'm going to post. It's not very long. I'm going to put before somewhere in here and uh, show you what it's like to cultivate corn. It's about at a good height. Um, for anything that I didn't mention, cultivating corn removed weeds from the, between the rows. Uh, back in the day, when this stuff was brand new, they didn't have a lot of good pesticides. Uh, so they use a cultivator to get in there and knock down the weeds and they uh, they also used it to aerate the soil a little bit to get air and water down into the roots of the plant. So uh, we're gonna drive up here a little bit farther and I'm gonna take the cultivator off here in the big shed and uh, show you how it uh, quick attaches and go from there. All right, after we realized the corn's way too tall to be cultivating, uh, Decided to take this thing off and uh, kind of show you how a quick attach cultivator works. Um, right now I've got it pulled into the big shed, great outdoors. And uh, we're gonna drop it on the ground right here and uh, I'll kind of show you step by step of how you back out of this thing. So I'm gonna set the cultivator down right now and then I'm gonna loosen the brackets. Uh, one first thing that needs to come off is the lift linkage. We need to pop this pin around here and it's just like a quick over center deal and it just pushes pushes right out of the hole and then we got to go back here and remove this pin this is actually just uh the pin that come out of the three point on my 620 and then we can lift this rod right out and that's got the first side the next step to getting this cultivator off is there's supposed to be some stands which I have to hold that beam up in the air while you back out of it but since we're outside and they're kind of hard to come by I don't like to put them underneath it so what you do is this egg corn nut down here you take your John Deere wrench and you, you take these bolts out and you just just loosen those two up on each side and we'll fold it around Normally, after a little bit of uh, manpower, you get this bolt out here and see how it slides over that. You just grab a hold of the arm right there and you just slide it away from the tractor. Uh, it's kind of a pain in the neck on dirt, but you got to do what you got to do sometimes. All right, so after we repeated that step with this, uh, with this last side, you can see cultivator should have plenty of room to clear these front tires plenty of room there and there so we can go ahead and back right on out of it uh, so far it's taken me roughly about 10 minutes to do this um, we take the rear rakes off once I get back down to the barn and I put them up in a corn crib so we'll crawl up here on the 630 and see if she'll start As you can see, uh, with a, <laughs> a little hard to back out with one hand, that's why it's a little jerky, but there we have an ABG 400 series cultivator off of the tractor. Not too much time. Normally I leave the uh, bracketry on. We've got the uh, plate down here that's quick attached. I use it as a front hitch, and then we've got this piece up here that uh, guides the cultivator, and then I normally take these bolts out of it. We're good to go. So I've got one of these rear rakes off. You can see there's three bolts there and a lift linkage that hold it. And there's slots down here that you lift over the nuts. And it just slides right in. It's a little difficult to do it with one person, so 
didn't quite get that part on video. Well, the cultivator is now off the 6.30, and uh, she's ready to go back to work doing what, uh, whatever else it wants to do. Uh, hopefully in the future I can uh, make a few more videos of a few more of the two cylinders we collect and uh, go for there. Uh, thanks again for watching, and have a nice day.